Hello, welcome to Shopify GA for Crash Course. Universal Analytics will stop working soon, and let's admit, GA4 is not easy to integrate or to work with. This is Shopify Merchant's Guide to Google Analytics for Integration, UA to GA4 Migration, GA4 Settings, Reports, and more. In this video series, I will guide you through everything you need to know about the GA4 as a Shopify merchant. As always, it is completely free here on YouTube and solely created for Shopify merchants. Now let's have a look at what the content will look like. By the end of this crash course, you will understand the differences between the integration methods. You know there are a couple of different integration methods that you could use. Learn how to integrate with GA4 properly, because if you don't, then your reports will be messed up and the data you see will not be reliable. I will also walk you through the migration process from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. I should be honest though, most of things are not migratable. We will not be able to migrate the data, historical data. Your historical data will remain in Universal Analytics. Many things we will not be able to import, but at least we have chance to import audiences, goals, and some of the settings. So we will do it together, I guess, in lesson three. And then we will troubleshoot your existing GA4 setup. Um, you must have a GA4 setup already, probably using Shopify's native integration, Google sales channel app or something else. We, we should troubleshoot and make sure that it's working properly and it is recording all the events as it should so that you can trust your data more. And then there are so many settings in GA4 that you should be doing. Otherwise, again, the reports won't work well or data collection will be interrupted. We will do those settings together I guess in lesson 5 and then we will learn and start using GA4's powerful e-commerce reports. So far we just talked about negative things but GA4 offers actually really some nice reports too. Um, so I will be walking you through how to find them, how to customize them and how to use them for your own good. And then we will double check your Google Ads GA4 conversion tracking integration. This is important because if you are using Universal Analytics at the moment as an conversion source in Google Ads. That means that will stop working soon. That's very important because it can affect all your Google Ads account and campaigns. What we should do, we should make sure that you are not using UA as a primary conversion action and we should also import GA4 um, as a conversion action to your Google Ads account. So this will be pretty much what we will be walking through in different lessons in this Shopify GA4 crash course. So we will have six different videos. This is the first one, which is the intro. We will jump into integration methods, migration, troubleshooting, GA4 settings, and then reports at the last. This crash course is our first Shopify GA4 course. In the beginning of each lesson, we will have this screen in front of us, and I will remind you where we are at the moment and what's next. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about our Shopify GA4 course. This is the crash course, first and short version. It will approximately take one hour. And then we are also preparing a complete Shopify GA4 course. I guess we will complete it in a couple of weeks and that will be approximately four hours. It will include many other things. Let me quickly show you the curriculum here. Um, there we will have four lessons only about the integration, three lessons about the migration, eight lessons about the GA4 reports. This will be so complex. I believe th this will be one of the best GA4 courses in the market and more importantly, Again, it will be solely focusing on Shopify merchants and here on YouTube for free. So if you don't want to miss when we release this out, you just sign up for this course as well here, start learning GA4 form, you just fill this form out so that we can notify you once we release that course. It's not only to notify you once we release, but also, you know, things change quite often. For example, maybe the reports I show you now will not be valid in the next three months or four months. We will constantly update this course. So when you sign up for our email list, that means you will also get notified with the updates and you will always stay up to date. I guess we will keep updating this course over the next couple of months uh, because things change quite often in Google Analytics 4 at the moment because Google is heavily investing and adding new features or uh, new reports. So stay tuned for that too. As mentioned, both courses, this one, the crash course and the complete course will be here free on YouTube and they are prepared to be beginner friendly actionable and we, in we do together concept, which means I will just open our Google Analytics account, a Shopify store, I will just walk you through, we will do these things together. So it will not be just me reading some slides to you like I am doing now. Um, trust me, I enjoy more when we do things together, just like our previous courses, if you have attended to any of those. So, and I suggest this course for e-commerce entrepreneurs, 
store owners, merchants, because I realize many of you don't know, don't use Google Analytics for and don't know how to check, don't know how to analyze your data, product performances, campaign performances, cart level performances, there are so many things that could be done. When I work one-on-one -on -one with merchants, I always show them a basic report and then they get surprised with that, but it's actually just there available for you to see. You can unlock so many important insights using Google Analytics, so that's why firstly with this course I target e-com entrepreneurs, merchants itself, so that they are more aware of what's going on in their store and also in their campaign. Obviously, digital marketers, people who run ads, who does SEO, who improves Shopify stores, uh, digital visibility, they also, or you also, need to learn how GA4 works. You need to set up your favorite reports in GA4, so that's also important for you. Developers, I'm sure your clients are asking a lot of questions to you about GA4 integration, so here we are. In this crash course, we will cover uh, the basics so that you can set GA4 for your clients properly and agencies for the same purpose. So this is a rough summary about our Shopify GA4 course. Once again, this is the crash version. This is the first version, which will be approximately one hour. Maybe by the time you are watching this video, it could already be that we released the complete version. That's why I strongly recommend you to click the link in the description, visit our website analyzify.com slash Shopify GA4 course, and here you will see all the lessons, all the updates, the most updated version. You know, we cannot update the videos on YouTube, but we can update the videos on our website. So I strongly recommend you to take this course guided by our website. Always our website has the latest information compared to YouTube for obvious reasons. Now quickly a little bit about us, who we are. We are a passionate team, we create efficient solutions for Shopify merchants. Analyzify is our app for data analytics. We have been building some uh, open source solutions for Shopify merchants as well, such as Shopify GA4 kit. That was the first Shopify to GA4 integration in the market. And at the moment it is used by 10,000 plus merchants. We are very proud and happy about it. And 2,000 plus merchants is using our app at the moment, at this time, by June 2023. And with our app Analyzify, we have over 200 positive reviews in the App Store. We are leading the category with the review count. Uh, we are also very happy and proud about it. We appreciate and thank to our clients being with us on this journey. Over two years, I think it has been that since we released Analyzify, and I guess the same time since we start releasing some uh, this kind of educational courses. Before we jump into next video, there is an important note that I would like to share. I really would love you to contribute and communicate with us, especially about these materials, because as much as feedback we receive from you, that much good we can do. We can improve our products, we can improve our courses, free materials, documentation, and everything else. So please provide feedback, send your questions, and let's improve these resources together. You can do it by leaving comments on YouTube, by following us, connecting us on LinkedIn, with me personally, or with our company account, or you can also subscribe to our newsletter through our hub content hub our content hub also covers lots of great articles i strongly encourage you to contribute to this course so that we can make it better we can plan next lessons together this course is inspired by your questions by our meetings with our clients and by the questions that we get from community so that's really important for us so please don't hesitate to contribute and communicate uh, with us we would be really happy Last but not least, don't forget to sign up for our upcoming complete Shopify GA4 course. As I mentioned, it will have approximately 20 plus lessons and four hours long. It will cover so many important details about the GA4. So just visit the link below. Maybe by the time you are watching this video, it has already been released so that you can start watching it already or you can just leave your email there so that we can share with you once it is up and also we can share with you the updates course will be here free on youtube but still we encourage you to sign up uh, leave your email trust me we never spam you can always unsubscribe it easily with one click we just want to stay in touch and keep you posted with the updates because ga4 changes all the time Shopify data analytics world changes all the time. The things which we were working on six months ago now, they are not even valid anymore. So that's why we want to make this as interactive and as up to date possible. You can help us by giving your feedback and also by signing up for our upcoming courses. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.